when the light changes, <clears throat> like from a shadow, because you stuck your hand in it, it will trap you and then you are caught. And I think that is pretty funny. I, and this is a light detector. Mm hmm And this is red, red, green, blue. So this can change any color in the brain. This is going to tell that the red, green, blue to change, to uh, do two, change green, gold, and Why green. Why that pack? Uh-huh. And then this pack? is also going to, and when, when the light gets blocked up, then this is going to show Why the green pack, ball Daddy? to go down to the leprechaun's hand. Nice. Pretty cool. And, yeah, and this, this is the servo motor that will this make the rainbow go down. And if I remember correctly. So it's going to make a rainbow? We don't need to make that? No, you need the rainbow, this but we're going to have really rainbow light okay. going on inside. It, this is trying. Right. So this exactly. Like said. By, by switching oh, the, and the different I have levels. One. Hold on, Jolie. By switching the different levels of the colors, we can make it gold and green. Oh, so we have to figure out what. Like yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to play with our program to figure out what the right values are to send to this to make Whoa. it green or gold. Whoa. Okay, so this is our, what is this? That is, a is the eye. Uh, that's, that's the light sensor, that's, that's right. So Can when it when here? somebody's hand so, blocks the light, oh, oh, I think it, oh, what's going to happen? Oh, do, 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 do. I think I get it. Get it. That's probably, that's probably going to, like, Tell the rainbow to go down and catch the leprechaun's hand. Exactly. That's exactly right. Very yes. good. All right. <laughs> got me. I'm going to get the candy. Oh, it got me. Okay, so this is a little unorthodox. Um, we basically wanted to describe what we've got here, what we're using. We are using an Arduino Micro, um, which is a very tiny chip, has a what's called an AT Mega 328 processor. So it's like a little tiny computer. Uh, and when you look inside the bucket, um, that's that little board right there. That's the Arduino Uno, uh, micro. This is an Uno. <clears throat> and um, this is obviously much bigger. This has more of what they call IOs. But anyway, um, ins and outs. That's what IO stands for. And then here is the code. And so basically, it's, um, uh, it's a C-based program that's compi compiled, you write it in basic language and you compile it to bytecode and then, <gasps> pardon me, upload that to uh, the Arduino chip and you're good to go. So you guys may have experience with this, but here's a, a, um, um, a, a, a schematic of the photoresistor, which is this little guy right here. So this guy is looking for, it's analyzing the light all the time. And um, it sends the light data. So it says, how much light level do I have? And it sends a voltage to the processor, to the Arduino chip. And uh, when that light changes and it, the value has gone down, that means that somebody is blocking the light. So a leprechaun has come and is trying to steal your candy. So uh, then it says, okay, I have less light. And so here's what the program does. This first section um, are some of what they call define. So we include a library for the servo, which tells the servo how to turn and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
And so we basically set a, a, an integer value for a, a word called val, and we have an average that we set at 75. And we have a variable called sensitivity or sense. And here is a, an integer from the light pin, which we are saying is pin zero. And there's also an LED on here, uh, which is pin 11. So if we look at our chart over here, we have on the left, A0 is where our photo resistor is. So that's this line here is plugged into that pin. And then um, the uh, LED is plugged into pin 10. 11, sorry, 10, 11. <clears throat> and then, so, okay, so once you do the defines, then we define some strings. Now, this was just for debugging. Uh, you won't actually see this, but if it was plugged into a computer, you, you could um, open up a terminal window and see exactly what the values are for the light sensor. So uh, the setup function basically says we are attaching a servo on pin 9. That is this pin right here. And uh, we're going to start talking to the serial port at 9600 bits per second. And we are going to tell the pins, these pins, on our LED pin, do we want to make them inputs or outputs. So in this case, we want the LED to, we want the pin that the LED is plugged in to put out data. So it's gonna tell the LED, when uh, there is less light, you get brighter. When there is more light, you get darker. And then we say, uh, initialize the servo and write it to five degrees. So it has a a zero and it goes from zero degrees to 180 degrees and we want this to go to five degrees um, that keeps the noise down a little bit so then we go into the loop now the loop happens at the speed of the microprocessor so this particular one I think is maybe 16 Hertz so 16 times a second this uh, loop can run now we're we're actually using some delays in here so we'll talk about that all right so the first thing we do is we want to ask what is the value of the analog uh, pin uh, the light pin so what is the value of the light coming in and we immediately take that value and write it straight out to the light pin so if there's a lot of light uh, coming in then our values are high and if there's not a lot of light then our values are low and we divide this value by four. Uh, that has to do with the resistor that's on there. And then we have a function called read sensitivity and condition. So we set uh, the variable and then we set tell the program go to read sensitivity and condition. So what do we do here? We set another variable called i. That's just a temporary variable that we use to loop through and then we set our value as, as zero. And this code here for i equals 1, i is greater than 5, i plus plus, this is incrementing stepping code. So we're basically saying i equals 0. And while i is, uh, uh, sorry, less than 5, go ahead and, and do this loop from this bracket to this bracket. And every time you go around, add 1 to i. So we start at 0. And it'll go one, two, three, four, five. And each time it's reading the light pin and assigning that to the value. Um, it's actually adding it up so we can make an average. Then over here, we say, um, okay, take our added values and divide it by five because that's the number of times we went through. And then we're going to scale eight bits. So whatever our app, so now we have the average value and now we have to convert it to um, an eight bit uh, code. <clears throat> 
and then we subtract that. Uh, we, we subtract 255 from whatever the value is, so we're basically turning the value upside down, and then we return it uh, back to wherever we started from, which was right here. And now the value that we got out of that function is inside sensitivity, or sense, and now we ask if sensitivity is less than the average plus 20, and remember in our first loop, our average is 75, um, we'll go do write some debugging code. And if not, then that means somebody has is trying to steal a candy. So then we say, spring the trap. And then we come down here to spring the trap to this function. And it basically says servo right 170 degrees. That means turn the servo so that the rainbow comes down and traps the bad guy. And then we're gonna wait two and a half seconds. Two, uh, 2,500 milliseconds is 2.5 seconds. And then we let him go and we say, okay, servo, go back to five degrees, open up the rainbow and let the bad guy go. And then we say return back to where we came from. So we were, we came back to here. The next thing we do is we wait about three quarters of a second. So 750 milliseconds, a thousand milliseconds is one second. And then we assign average to sensitivity. Uh, I'm sorry, we, as we assign sensitivity to average is, wh is what that means. And then we get to this bracket and we start all over again in the loop. And whatever our value of average is, is now going to be passed through here. So very simple. That's how it works in 10 minutes. Enjoy.